Oh, please someone lead us in. I think it's Kaya's turn. Hi, it's episode 251, and Jackson has something very special planned for us in this episode. Yeah, you know me, I'm always I'm the, the giver of gifts with this show. Last week I brought you uh, clips, and this week I'm bringing you a TikTok celebrity one, uh, guilty of murder who is now famous online. This story made me incredibly mad, like so very mad. It harkens back to the days of who was that super attractive um, celebrity in a uh, not celebrity, but murderer in America who who cultivated like a fan base. He of wasn't he wasn't a murderer. He did like drugs or something. I don't remember his name. It was uh, we talked about him a lot. Jeremy Meeks. talking about Jeremy Meeks. Yeah, Jackson yeah. is talking about the Boston Bomber. What the Boston Bomber the Boston had fans. Bomber. Yeah, was the, only fans of not, the, the only yeah. fans of he, the Boston Bomber were like Redditors who tried to get him off by <laughs> pinning it on someone else, right? And women and the Rolling Stone. Matt, really? The Rolling Stones, the band, yeah. were fans of him? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get us sued. <laughs> they put him on the fucking magazine cover, dude, because he, he's not even that good looking, but I guess they wanted to really, really stan him. Um, so what is with this? One. Yeah, all right, so this is a man by the... Well, a boy, really, he's 18, by the name of Cameron Heron, who has gained an obsessed army of supporters in wake of sentencing. Basically, what happened was he killed a mother and daughter, um, uh, a 24-year-old uh, mother, and I think the daughter was about a year old in um, like a street yeah. race, uh, fatally struck them with his new Mustang that he had just received days earlier. And he's been sentenced to 24 years behind bars for their deaths. But uh, does that really matter now that he's TikTok famous? He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. <laughs> so, fuck yeah. Well, all because he's attractive. If he, can, if he can, all he has to do is smuggle a phone into prison in his asshole. And so I guess he can TikTok <laughs> yeah, he, from there. Yeah. <laughs> Vlog the prison he, experience. He, <laughs> yeah. Do you think he can make money in prison by doing that? Like, Or do they confiscate? Well, obviously, this wouldn't happen in the first place, but, like, I don't know. Would you be able to make an income doing that in prison somehow? Like, do, well, it, should, depend, yeah, it mean, depends on the prison. Prisoners were TikToking. Go, go ahead, Kaya. The, no, I was going to say, if they were TikToking in prison, that would be interesting. I want to see what that's like. But yeah. in this guy's case, I'd rather he just get beat up in the showers. It really depends on Fuck the prison, to what level of security they have. And I mean, some prisons let prisoners work and have actual jobs while incarcerated to earn income. It would, it would depend where he is. So could he claim that this is a job? Maybe, maybe if the prison is corrupt enough um, and he says, like, I'll give you 50% of my TikTok revenue, maybe they'd allow him to put on <laughs> TikToks in the prison or something like that. <laughs> to bribe him, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Did, if, did you if say what is... Um, how he killed the mother? He, he was street racing, by the way. Um, this fucking loser. He was street racing. He ran into the mother with her little baby, killed them both. Um, and apparently he had already previous convictions mm -hmm. because of street racing. At like 18, what the fuck are you doing? At 18, you're already like street racing and murdering people. That's a quick start to a sociopath's life, I guess. He's been and he's in the courtroom. Go ahead. I was just going to say, it's important to note, this was not his first time for street racing. If I remember correctly, this was the third time he had done uh, like a street race and got in trouble for it the two times prior as well, but was let off with warnings. Yeah, he had a record. Yeah. Um, and, oh, and it racing. factored in with his sentencing as well. So he did get 24 years, like I said. So that's, I don't think that's uh, enough years, especially for killing a fucking a family. That's awful. No, and why do we let these people off with like warnings? Oh, you're street racing, endangering the fucking society. Slap on, go home, kiddo. Don't do it again. Do you promise? This is one of those stories where like, you ever read those news articles where some dude just stabs a woman or something, and then you read about oh he had 27 prior convictions that had been yeah. in and out of prison 50 times. Like, yeah. wh why did we let him out then? Why is this guy prowling the streets? They couldn't have possibly no. known that he was going to snap and murder someone. The rehabilitative <laughs> institutions, we expected them to have worked after the 25th time they yeah. visited Kaya. Uh, yeah, Are you insinuating bad. there's a problem this, with our prison system, Kaya? I don't fucking believe you. You wouldn't want to think that. Oh my this god. This guy, this... 
the photos you should see of this kid in court where he has those empty eyes, like completely devoid of feeling. He just stares blankly like he's confused as to why he's even in court. Like, but, but how dare you but impede my free movements in society? Like, oh, so I killed somebody and like he's confused about justice, about being there in the first place. This fucking sociopath, this little shit. I don't know. That made me mad. Jackson sent that article like five minutes before we started recording and it just made me angry. You should see the fan cams for him on TikTok. Oh, it was man. a very oh. common trend where they just put like sad music over Cameron Heron with a hashtag justice for Cameron. It was some pathetic shit. Some genuinely awful stuff. They're like, yeah, everyone makes mistakes. He doesn't deserve 24 years for what was clearly an accident. He didn't mean oh to God. kill them. Fuck you. Yeah. An accident. What it's, an asshole. It's it's so crazy. many people's lives are irreparably damaged due to this asshole's mistake, if you will, Ugh. or whatever they said, accident. And they think just because he's got beautiful blue eyes, he should be allowed less time in prison. Yeah, that shit makes me sick, them. honestly. Lookism is one of the very few, maybe the only thing, incels were ever right about. And unfortunately, because we have say. to, uh, out of a gut reaction, because we have to deny everything they say, lookism is also denied. When it's so self-evident that we, as a species, we like prefer things that are pleasing to our eyes to the degree that we play god by the way it's the only reason pandas still exist yeah. <laughs> can you imagine if pandas look like sea cucumbers or cockroaches do you think we'd bother keeping them alive no we don't yeah. fuck you <laughs> if pandas were illegally street racing and accidentally ran over a small family i'd be like that's pretty cute <laughs> 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 can that be our thumbnail for the episode <laughs> <laughs> an illegally street racing panda yeah i think i can make that happen it's like kung fu panda and need for speed <laughs> oh but yeah i mean it's it makes me sick that people um i don't know they're so far up his ass that they that they stan him on tiktok 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 <laughs> tiktok it's <laughs> disgusting i fucking hate it I, well, I hate it. They're, it's they're not just too, as bad as him in my eyes. It's not too far of a cry from what people are already doing, though. I mean, fucking serial killers like Charles yeah, Manson and all yeah. that have entire fan bases and followings, especially of women who are like, oh, he's so fucking attractive. I want to marry him and have him stab me. Haha. -ha. It's just there's just <laughs> yeah, some yeah, fucking it's, weirdos it's out very there. Weird. You know? but it's, this, this it's is, also the this reason why... True crime is one of the biggest podcasting genres, and it's exclusively almost listened to only by women. And the same is true of um, erotica, erotic novels. It was almost read exclusively by women. It's, yeah. it's like the biggest genre there of books out there. There was some, there was some thing I saw a long while back. It, it could be bullshit, but it was like four out of five of the top-selling romance novels in any given year are about sexual assault or rape. And it's the idea that women love the danger and love the like idea of, oh, it's so, you know, he's such a bad boy. He's such a threat, you know, it's just. What, what, so, yeah, yeah I've, I've heard like rape fetishes are like some of the most common mm -hmm. um, fetishes that women have. Yeah, I've oh, always yeah. been. I, I guess it's the whole power thing. It's, like, it's like, definitely it's, it's like a power a... dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but like I can wrap my head around one, sure, rape uh, fantasies, sure, why not? But from that to the Boston bombing, is that a fetish? <laughs> Blowing little children up? Like, <laughs> it's quite a leap. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, so here's my thing. I could have like, ex not excused, but I could have like kind of made my peace with the whole uh, people idolizing serial killers because it's always been like a small... A small amount of women, in my opinion, or in my belief, like I didn't think it was a large following that, um, you know, attached themselves to that fetish. But this this guy has two million TikTok followers and he hasn't even posted anything on there. So and it's verified. TikTok verified him. What well, the he, fuck? Was a, he was a TikToker before this, wasn't he? No, it says, he, all right, so this was from the article that I was reading. His verified TikTok account has exploded to 2 million followers despite Heron, the um, the killer, Heron not having any published content. Now, mm. now keep in mind, take that with a grain of salt, though, Jackson, because how many people followed him because of this incident? How many people followed oh, him yeah, because of, of too many. Yeah. 
So I, I wouldn't say, you know, even the majority of it is people who think he's that cute or too hot to be thrown in jail. There's a group of people doing that. And then everyone else is following because they're going, oh, this is the guy that everyone's saying is too cute to go to jail. Or, oh, it's the guy in that fucking car accident thing. It's it's all word of mouth. What the fuck is this on Twitter and uh, on Twitter as well? So we've got the we've got the uh, trifecta or duopoly of f shitty social medias on Twitter. An army of fans continue to flood the platform, saying he deserves a second chance and demanding justice for Cameron, the, the killer. That's what, a like, That's what a trial, what a trial is, you fucking idiots. That's what a trial <laughs> does. It's justice. Oh, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? What justice does he God. deserve? He's the killer. Oh you idiots. God. Oh my! They I forgot about the fucking mom up. and the baby. It's like I swear to God, again, like no, it doesn't even factor into the equation. Like she's not even in, on the photos of these articles that people are now linking in the chat. It's just his again, his blank, dumbfounded eyes. This void. Not there's not a person behind those eyes. Look at that thing. Look at this fucking beast. It's just an empty head. Like why am I here? Fuck face. God, I really hope that all the rumors of American prisons are true. I hope they are just pee pee poo poo rape dungeons. Fuck this guy. Damn it, I'm yeah, mad. Man. It, it like yeah, it's it's fucked, dude. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate him. I fucking hate yeah. every single person who who's hashtagged uh, justice for Cameron. <laughs> if you if you're one of those people, Jesus Christ, get a grip. Please. This makes you haven't that. watched the fan cams, Jackson. They were making oh, yeah. very good points. You're right, you're right, you're we, right. We've said right. this before, but like for all the flaws of the justice system where everybody, everybody says, oh, it's a class thing, it's a race thing, it's a sexism, whatever. Like, looks. Put fucking potato bags over these people's faces. That that's, should be like the biggest reform to the justice system in every country should be. You don't get to see the convict. Ooh, you don't get be to judge him by his looks. Well, it's such so, a it's such a fucking science that it factors into how the lawyers defend them as well. I, I'm pretty sure we brought this up, but lawyers will give defendants glasses and make them wear certain <laughs> things to look yeah, meeker yeah. and less yeah. uh, harmful. It's that's all an part of it. That's an interesting idea, though. What if we reform us for we we reform the judicial system <laughs> and make it a prerequisite that all uh, like defendants must come in wearing balaclavas and shit, so <laughs> every feature is obscured on their body, so yeah. it, they're just like a that's, that's blank slate. why uh, that's why a lot of high profile trials don't allow filming or photography, and why they have to be like sketched or painted because they know that people are going to act or dress or do something different when there's people watching. And when that they should matters. Get, yeah. Instead of going for a realistic sketch artists, they should get those like uh, sketch artists from like the peers who do the funny, funny drawings. Yeah, make yeah. caricatures like, the, like driving in little cars yeah. and water skiing. <laughs> Giant nose and eyes and just ugly. <laughs> yeah, get, get, that, get, get that guy to draw the photos you of his a, dick. You have a guy covered in tattoos in the corner just airbrushing their fucking stencil. <laughs> they're reading their rights. <laughs> yeah, that they should be the thumbnail to these news articles. <laughs> it's, God damn it! I, I'm if like, they're found innocent, innocent, they, 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 <laughs> if they're found innocent, they get a souvenir of their drawing, a little T-shirt <laughs> with their face on it. Yeah, but if they're but if they're guilty, it's their face on like a little prisoner body with handcuffs. <laughs> God, pricks, <laughs> fucking pricks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Do you think that it's though just disappointing. his his outfit to make him look more, I don't know, smart would be me undies underwear? Oh, you bet. Yeah, you think maybe to make him look like a savvy Wouldn't shopper, see it? to make him look like he's he's a man who knows a good deal, he'd be wearing me undies. Let me, mm -hmm. I guess, but I hope he's not showing us his undies in court. Oh, well, I, I hope he is if they're me undies. Because <laughs> let me ask you a question. Are you afraid of glow in the dark? Because here's the thing. No. New me undies Halloween has just dropped. <gasps> if there's one collection you won't want a ghost, it's this one. That's great. Nice. That was that was written there with five new prints <laughs> to turn up terror. You can summon them before it's too late. Whether you're out running a... Oh boy. 
Whether you're out running a killer or being abducted by aliens this Halloween, be comforted by the fact that your undies are sustainable and the softest in town. Me undies are made from natural fibers sourced from beechwood trees, making their micromodal fabric soft, breathable, and dangerously cozy. Get your spooky season up and haunting with five new prints. I see you, my boo, tricks and treats, lazy bones, and lazy purple. Sorry, lazy pumpkin. Makes more sense. Available in undies, bralettes, socks, loungewear, sizes XS to 4XL. There are lots of options to consider, but make a decision quickly. There's somebody right behind you. Ah. I, I have to read this verbatim. Me Undies has a great <laughs> offer for my listeners. For any first time purchasers, get 15% off and free shipping. Me Undies also has a promise. If you're not satisfied with the product for any reason, return your order within 45 days for a full refund. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and that cool little 45 day return window, go to MeUndies.com slash official meundies.com slash official all extremely lame halloween jokes aside all four of us wear me undies my girlfriend also wears me undies so if you are a lady and got like vagina lady parts and stuff you can get Yucky. women's underwear it's not just men's Talk boxers mm. so anyone out there listening no matter what kind of underwear you wear you can get a pair at me undies we all wear it it's legitimately comfy I still love my polar they bear have the most delect. They have the most delectable little pair of uh, dinosaur panties. <laughs> do I you just, have those, Chad? <laughs> don't take off. Yeah, but you bet. Do you, like, do you <laughs> put them on, like, split your nuts down the middle so they look like a T-Rex, <laughs> yeah. just oh. arms coming out? Ow. <laughs> no, I, I, I fold my nuts in just the right way that they, they tuck out from the underwear and, and it makes it look like the dinosaurs Aww. have nuts. Oh, that's, that's where the oh, fun is. Oh, nice. I like Aww. that. It's creative. Meundies.com slash official. It's genuinely good underwear. Yeah, you can get away with any crime if you wear them. That's true. Jackson, is it true that there's like a debate on whether or not Dino set dicks? Oh, I mean, I, that's probably the one thing I don't know about dinosaurs, Kai. <laughs> can you enlighten me? Is that true? People don't think dinosaurs... No, I don't... Yeah, well, I... I wait, 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 wait. So reptile... Like, lizards and shit don't have dicks, right? They've just got... Do they have dicks? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. You, you remember us, in, uh, you're, you're the you one remember, who killed the gecko. Yeah, well, you remember Steve Irwin? He would stick his finger up crocodile's buttholes to feel if it was male yeah, or no, female. But that, that's, a, that's a cloaca, right? Yeah, it wasn't their butthole. Yeah, it was a little right. just, like, so, hole where the yeah, penis like goes. Slit. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the debate of like dinosaur clo- cloacas. Is that cloaca? what it's called? Or dicks? Yeah, I, I would assume so, yeah. yeah. So cloacas so. are what birds have, and it's the idea that it's yeah. one multi-purpose hole. It's where they lay eggs, it's where they shit, it's where everything comes yeah, out. Yeah, they do everything out of that thing. Yeah. It's super efficient, apart oh. from eat and talk. It's just a, <laughs> Let's it's, not get carried away, like, Jackson. You never know. It's like it's like the Swiss army knife of holes, really. <laughs> yeah, it does yeah. everything. If, you, if we <laughs> humans had them, we'd get a lot more done, just saying. Oh, you bet. Yeah, um, yeah I, w- I, would assu- I would assume so, right? Like... Yeah, I think dinosaurs wouldn't have, be swinging meat. <laughs> I think they'd be pretty dangerous. Um, well, I, every I mean, other animal I, does. Why? Like, if a whale has a dick, why wouldn't a dino? Well, most reptiles have cloacas. I, I don't know if that's the term for when it's reptiles, but birds have it. Cloacas and reptiles yeah. usually have like internal genitals that poke out when they need them. So, yeah, I know. So we again, like birds that what you're telling me. That whole rule 40, uh, 34 genre of dinos fucking cars, that's not no, dragons. Dra- dragons. 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 Dragons can be whatever you oh. want. And dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Dragons very well fair. could have dicks. We yeah. don't know the science behind them yet. Oh, okay. That's fair. I, I guess. They could have cloacas and dicks. We don't know. They can have anything you want. It's artist imagination. Whatever you'd like. Well, I think a big scary t-rex needs to have a big scary dick right yeah, yeah i remember that scene Did in jurassic know? park when the t-rex dragged its nuts across the windshield and just <laughs> starts fucking the car yeah. <laughs> did you uh, uh it's that's very dangerous for the t-rex because if they tripped over at all they weren't getting back up that's that's death for t-rex if they trip over so if they if they uh if they trip over their nuts, that's game over for that Rex. Sadly. Well, no, dinosaurs, uh, I'm assuming the T-Rex, uh, it, it could lift itself up with, like, its tail, 
Like a kangaroo? Uh, no. No. Yeah. No. What? Uh, ja- what? Jackson, do you think they were like turtles where when they get on their backs, they can't get back up? They, they, were, very they, pa- they were very particular when they laid down. They, they did it in a way where... <laughs> Uh, they would be able to get back you up. Sit like you were around. <laughs> <laughs> in, my, in my in my in my mind, perhaps yeah. Maybe they just um, would lean back and sit on their giant nut sacks like beanbag chairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if they tripped over, like hypothetically, if they tripped over their nut sack, they'd probably bake, uh, break their like leg bones and stuff. There's no way they'd be getting back up. I that's, doubt it. Their leg bones probably death. weren't that fragile. Maybe yeah, they're they a lot more those... limber than we give them credit for. Uh, no, I know. I I genuinely do believe that like a fall is pretty deadly for, um, at least a T Rex with that much mess. Hmm. I don't know. That they look pre- like those thighs look really meaty. Like, oh man, I wish I could taste a dino. That would be so cool. Like, what was the one... what was the I point? I think it just tastes like crocodile. What was the point of their stubby arms, Jackson? That's a good. I I think people think that it's an evolutionary byproduct. Like they were slowly turning into birds mm. since birds don't have arms. Gotcha. But I, I don't yeah, think it yeah. serves any. But wait, specific birds purpose. have wings. Dyn- T. Rexes yeah. didn't. So, so they were yeah, just getting it, rid of their arms. Slow, They're not even getting anything. Yeah, it return. was a slow process. They were just in the process of growing those wings. So first the arms had to come back in, <laughs> and then come out at the sides <laughs> like giant chicken wings. <laughs> I don't think evolution works like that in procedural <laughs> steps. Like, first we get no. rid of the arms, and then we're gonna grow them out of our shoulders. No, Kaya's right. Evolution's instantaneous and happens overnight. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just saying. Like, I, I don't think it plans ahead like that. Let's get first uh, rid of the arms. Hey, uh, have you guys heard of that one company trying to resurrect mammoths? No, no but uh, aren't awesome. they always trying to resurrect like old shit? It's never gonna happen. I'm tired of this. I really <laughs> want it to happen. Jackson's tired of this world and its scientific advancements. <laughs> <laughs> Just give up. Stop giving me hope. Who's giving these fucking idiots money for well, these well, outrageous mammoths, dreams? Mammoths are actually not a terrible target because they are yeah. younger than we think. There were woolly mammoths walking on the other side of the planet when the Egyptian pharaohs were alive. So it's not like that far Wait, away it, in history that woolly mammoths boring. were here. They're boring. Sh- they're just hairy oh, elephants. Yeah, that's they, not they boring. They are boring. No, they're, they're Charlie, not. You, you have, you have Charlie, specifically gonna... said in the past that dinosaurs are boring, but you think mammoths aren't boring? Yeah, dinosaurs are boring as fuck, but a mammoth, it has like those huge fucking what? tusks. It's got like big hair on it. He's cool. So, the, okay, Charlie, you're going to go to the zoo and you're going to see one and you're going to think, oh, it's just a hairy elephant. Yeah, fuck yeah, it'll be like a rock star elephant. Yeah, to glue some hair on an elephant, you can have that now. I'm, you don't need I to. Mean, so this how is it? How is it team Rex? asking who's funding these people? They got fifteen million dollars um, in private funding, by the way, Jackson. How, wait, 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 wait. First, how is it a T Rex not a cool fucking uh, I don't know iguana then? Yeah, because hmm? he's lame. He's, he can't even like fall over without dying. Apparently, he's lame as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. He <laughs> used my own words against me pretty efficiently there. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh no, uh, what the fuck? Okay, so not only are they gonna resurrect this fucking thing, they want to unleash it in the Arctic. They want to put this thing in the wild, this genetic abomination, this affront to God. Maybe it'll <laughs> create it ice. ice. <laughs> yeah, they have a freeze thrower <laughs> built in. Yeah, they have ice well, so, beams. Yeah. So in the middle of... <laughs> global warming we decided hey let's bring back mammoths and put them where you know soon there's not gonna be any ice so we can make them extinct again watch the yeah, watch, like, them go extinct watch it painfully. drown in the arctic water yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then there's gonna be over competition for like polar bears and shit so they're gonna be under more stress oh well, i guess no. i guess polar bears could eat the mammoths maybe i don't know how this doesn't... Okay, so when you... Like, some countries have such strict rules, like Australia, right? So even during normal times, not during COVID, where, like, you, you're not allowed to bring in certain foods because the Australians are scared it's going to disrupt the local fauna yeah, or we some have, shit. Yeah, we have right? extremely strict customs, yeah. We've probably got the strictest in the world, probably. But we can just unleash a bunch of new genetic zombie creature mutants into the wild? Fuck well, yeah. Well, they're not technically uh, zombies. Fuck it. All right, I, I guess I'll... 
I shit. I'm on the side of math science. I'm down with this. Yeah, let's do it. I'm I, I'm down with it. I just don't think it'll ever happen. I've been hearing this fucking pipe dream for like thirty years. I don't at, know, at man. Point, we're we're getting really happen. good with cloning technology and shit. I mean, what have we ever cloned? A sheep? sheep. Are we? Because yeah, we clone sheep. Yeah, yeah that, that's like the one. Yeah, but like I. Uh, I went on the Wikipedia page. I had one of those nights where I was drunk and I, you know how you uh, go down the rabbit hole on Wikipedia and click every fucking link in every sentence. Dolly the sheep, you know, we, we did it and then it died. And that was did it. it. Die like, we yeah, didn't really but clone keep in mind, that was, did it live? Keep in mind, that was literally like 20 years ago. Think how far we've advanced in this technology by this Longer, point. Longer, I think. Yeah. yeah. We probably have now way, we can way clone better twice cloning as many sheep. now. Yeah. Yeah, but then why have you not heard anything besides Dolly? Dolly was in 96, jeez. Oh, oh yeah, shit. apparently, I'm reading this list here. Since then, we've cloned a ton of shit. We've cloned a ferret, we've cloned a monkey, we've cloned some frogs, <gasps> cloned some goats. A monkey? How close are we to cloning humans, then? We're already there, yeah. we're already creating well. humans. TikTok's just brainwashing everyone to be the fucking same. <laughs> Ooh, original hot take. Yeah, you like that? You see how I yeah, stuck that in there? Like we're already cloning sheep Zing. online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the application um, for cloning if not to bring back dinosaurs then? Like, what other purposes could we have for cloning? We I can, guess, like, body parts. Organs. Like, yeah, organs, you could absolutely yeah. just get organs. Mm hmm. Well, wasn't wasn't but there an article? It its I'm own gonna, problems. I'm gonna look, Charlie, because I read a Wikipedia article about the ethics of bio cloning. Because, like, what are we gonna do? Clone people and then harvest their organs? You know, just like in the thing. island with a uh, fucking Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. That'd be nuts. I'm I'm trying I, to find something on that. it. There was some article Can buzzing on... about lately where the whole point is that we would clone full humans, but without their head. So we would just have like. <laughs> They wouldn't be uh, alive, but we would have is. just a body of organs that we could pull from, and it wouldn't be unethical because it's like, no, they were but never the brain. They were never sentient. That's so gross. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. No, that's a great idea. It's a really good idea. I'm all for it. Well, yeah, that's so that's creepy that's though. <laughs> what? They're, they're organs without a soul? Like that's that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that, that's fucking creepy. You want to walk through like a Matrix pod farm of just yeah. a bunch of pods full yeah. of slime if and body parts? If I get to pick out my functioning either. liver, I need desperately to do it. I'd absolutely <laughs> do it. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I guess. So. Okay, yeah. It, if it didn't have a soul before, what's dicks? the point? Like, what's what's the issue with that? If it didn't have like a a person that it belonged to before that point, I don't see like anything well, unethical. Look about at that. A, look at abortion. They don't have like a soul when they're developing. But look at like the crazy debates that brings. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, <laughs> not, not gonna yeah, say yeah, that like you've been yeah. there. And, yeah. They have no soul. <laughs> 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 Keep your opinions to yourself, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> that one's too spicy right now. The yeah, iron's yeah. too hot. Yeah. It's always I'll a hot a button. I'll wait a while to decide which side I take. I know what side I take. I just don't want to. I'm not touching that. I'm good. You can have it. Yeah. I know which side of the bed I like to sleep on. Andrew. <laughs> Left. <laughs> Me too. And I found that out because of my Helix mattress. Isn't that right, guys? Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a Helix mattress that I primarily utilize as a guest mattress because I will just quickly and easily slap it out into the living room or the guest bedroom. And everyone who's tried it, including myself on days where I could just really use a nap, has said that it is one of the comfiest sleeps they have ever had. I mean, look, you could be sleeping right now on a mattress you found on the side of the road. It's fine. Whatever works for you. But don't you want something to work for you even better? Maybe something that'll make you mm -hmm. comfy. Maybe something that'll support your mm -hmm. body in the right ways. Maybe something voted number yes. one best overall mattress of 2020 by GQ and Wired yes. Magazine. Well, all you yes. gotta do, all you gotta do. Just take the sleep quiz from Helix. It's two minutes, and it will match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. You could be sleeping on your back, your side, your stomach. You could toss and turn like a cloned ferret. It could be a soft mattress, a firm mattress, a medium mattress. They even got those in the middle. Doesn't matter. Helix will find 
a mattress for you. And let's say you're a real indecisive Andy. Let's say you're you're a real jumping Jackson. And you just go, oh, I don't know how I feel about this mattress. I might not want it. You get a hundred nights risk-free as well as a 10-year warranty. Meaning you are pretty much guaranteed to love this thing. Or if, I don't know, you want to back out for some reason, you can. You got plenty of time to make things right with Helix. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash official, take a two-minute quiz, match up to the customized mattress, and you'll get the best sleep of your life. But I know what you're saying. Can I save $200 and get two free pillows? And I'm saying to you, how did you know what I was going to say next? You're psychic. Because you knew that I was going to say that Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows. But only if you go to helixsleep.com slash official. That's helixsleep.com slash official for $200 off and two free pillows. Thank you, Helix. Yeah. I want to mention something adorable. Um, they cloned a cat and they called it Aww. Copycat. That's, That's great. Adorable. And then they harvested <laughs> its so organs. <laughs> no. It was headless, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It came out headless. <laughs> I bet. Aww. So, uh, without doing any kind of research, this is just me uh, shooting it from the hip. Um, That's I unusual bet a for this show. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I That's bet there's a conspiracy. Research. I bet there's a conspiracy theory that clones already exist and they're walking among us. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What was that movie even you talked, talked about, about this earlier, one time. Charlie? The Island. Yeah. I'll, I'll bet there are people that think the island was real and actually is happening. There are just escaped yeah, well, clones or like clones that got out of a lab and are just walking around hiding can you on, island on Netflix. Yeah, isn't yeah, that. Can, can you explain it? A horrible thing? So, no, a horrible no, no, no. show? Go ahead, it's not a show. It's a it's a movie from the earlier two thousands. It's actually one of Scarlett Johansson's first major roles. She played uh, Ewan McGregor's uh, side well, sidekicks, the wrong word, but they were together. They were the leads. It's a, a movie about they they create this facility where they create artificial people for the sake of raising them and then harvesting their organs for their counterparts in the real world. So rich people paid to have a clone of themselves put at this facility uh, so that way they could have the organs should they ever need them. Well, when they need them, because, for example, Ewan McGregor's character is a really rich businessman who he has like organ failure from drinking or no, no, no. He has some kind of sexually transmitted disease and oh, he needs Jesus. like a new like a new penis a or new something. Penis. <laughs> yeah, it's not a new penis, but he like needs new organs because his body was failing from it. And so that's where Ewan McGregor gets created. Eventually he finds out the truth, like, oh, we're actually clones of people in the real world and they're just trying to harvest us. And it's called The Island because they made it like a game. So when it was someone's time to get harvested, they had like a lottery where you'd win a trip to The Island. They were convinced that humanity had fallen and the last bastion of hope was The Island outside of their facility. So they thought they were going to The Island, but they were just getting harvested for organs. Steve Buscemi's in it. Sean Bean's in it. I think Michael That's Clark great. Duncan's in it too. He is in it as well. Said, sounds like a that black comedy. Awful. It's a great. It's actually a good movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, so maybe it doesn't hold up well. But it was so good when I watched it. You the first have time. yeah. You have a weird taste in old movies. You like Troy. I watched that recently, and God, that was awful. <laughs> Apart from one scene. Troy's such a good. I, I, movie. Did, did you were you were you watching like Brad Pitt though? Like, did you actually watch? Yeah, yeah. yeah Brad Pitt is good in anything. Like, okay. Yes. But the movie was bad, <laughs> apart from that one fight scene with Brad Pitt. But everything else bad. <laughs> they put Brad Pitt in a tent the entire time. He doesn't do shit. He has sex in the tent. Yeah, good point. But I don't think it was like particularly consensual. <laughs> it's well, pretty, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I mean, it's Brad Pitt in the tent. Like, it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. No clones, though. No clones in Home no, Are you... Do you guys have any hope for the Matrix movie? I don't. Uh, I'm cautiously optimistic just because I'm sure I'll enjoy it just because Keanu's in it. Keanu, yeah. I just really like the he Matrix is, franchise. But even the third Me movie? Me too, man. But yeah, uh, I like what it does. 
I, I don't necessarily like the movie, but th so the two Matrix sequels needed to be edited more. They needed to have things cut out and scenes reworked. And then I think they could have been incredible because I think the overall the third idea one was that guy needed to not exist. But I, I, the third one was awful. Dude. Yeah, yeah was so but, but I like a lot of the concepts of it. I really, really love the so the whole the whole twist is that they build on the original concepts. The first movie is, oh, the world is virtual and it's a simulation and, you know, break free of that mind trickery and that's cool and then the second movie is holy shit agent smith is trying to leave the simulation but he's an artificial being he's not a real human what the fuck and that concept is cool and then the third movie is agent smith himself warps into a virus and consumes the entire matrix and i think where they go with it is great where at the end you have that whole literal like the entire matrix is just agent smith <laughs> And I, I don't know, there's cool yeah, things in them. They're just poorly written and really paced bad and too much dialogue so, explaining things. Uh, and, yeah. it, it, it was bad, man. But I was watching the trailer for the new one now, and they got rid entirely of the visual style that the Matrix had, that green tint, yeah. that cool style that they had. And they, like, it seems to be like they're rebooting the franchise or some shit, or I guess maybe the Matrix itself got restarted or something. Keanu is back in the Matrix. And they have some of the old actors and actresses, like, um, what's her name? Trinity. And Keanu, obviously, but they didn't get uh, Lawrence Fishburne, what? so they just hired a random guy to look like him, and it looks like an SNL spoof of The Matrix. Well, well that's thing, not the him. The thing it's is, I think Lawrence couldn't do it, like he wasn't available Why? for the role, so what they did oh is they God. wrote Morpheus to be a younger version of Morpheus. Plus, I could be misremembering, but didn't Morpheus die in the third movie? Mm, uh, no, I don't remember but either. I'm not sure. No, he was he was in Zion. Wait, did he die? I think I vaguely remember Morpheus dying. So I think like one of the things they wrote in here is he's back but younger. That's stupid. Oh, oh, it just oh. looks like a parody. No, it looks Morpheus dumb. lives. I'm looking yeah, at it here, now. Chat, chat told me he died in the Matrix Online, which is a canon story. Oh, <laughs> the fuck is oh, Matrix? Is that a shit. video game? <laughs> it's a video game. Yeah, I actually played it. It's an MMO. Yeah. Wait, they killed off a main character in a video game. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the oh, main characters. Oh God, I do remember that. <laughs> What, is, what, what was the game like? Was it good? I liked it, but uh, I recently rewatched gameplay because they brought it back on a private server. The gameplay doesn't look as cool as I remember it being, but I remember Holy liking shit. it. How have I never I seen know. this? Yeah, um, there's also like Enter the Galaxy. Matrix, I guess. The Trinity die in that one. <laughs> oh, that game was a fucking huge pile of shit. Was that the uh, was that like the uh, Xbox 360 one? So there were there were two uh, big Matrix no, games. There was, was Path of yet. Neo, which was actually so good. good. That was a good game. So good. Uh, but fucking Enter the Matrix was the one that starred two like side characters, and it was fucking horrendous. It, it was Niobe, and it was that Asian dude in a white and a ghost suit who kind of looked cool, but they were. Yeah, they, they weren't like interesting though. Yeah. Like they were just two characters that they introduced for two point seven seconds in uh, Matrix Reloaded, I think, at the very beginning, where they blow up the nuclear reactor or something. Yeah, and, Isn't that weird? and the, <laughs> the gameplay was god awful. The story was god. That whole game is a fucking nightmare. It's super weird to me that games like this don't exist anymore. Like, there's no movie based games really. That died off. What are you talking about? Every fucking month we get another Marvel game. Yeah, that's only happened recently, and they're they're doing a weird thing where they're not connected to the movies either. Well, because they're like, made they before the movie even comes, comes out. Their likeness. Well, yeah, they, well, they the can't use the same likenesses. So it's part of the production cycle. The idea is, if the movie came out and then they started the game, they, there's no way they would make the window. You want the game to come out around when the movie does, so you can capitalize on the hype and get all the sales. So most movie games yeah. start development like when the movies are announced, basically. And they usually have the script or similar things to work off of, but not the actual film. So if there's rewrites and shit, you could have just mismatching products. And there's not a lot of quality to base off of because they're just working with, you know, unfinished source material. But can, like, can you guys can you guys actually think of any games that have based off or, or like, um, yeah, based off the movies that they're representing? 
not that anymore. Come out they, recently. It was a uh, it was no. a trend over a decade ago. Mm-hmm. Like Green it was Lantern. a trend that lasted forever though, and I think yeah. that was successful to some degree. I don't think they were ever. There was no. a fucking battleship game based on the battleship movie. I still yeah, wish King Kong. So, you guys, oh, yeah. you guys another, like the King Kong game? Another no, reason dude. they're not successful, no. Jackson, is the licensing takes up most of the budget. So it's like, let's yeah, say, let's yeah. say you want to make like an Avengers game, you're going to spend probably a hundred million on just the licensing rights alone, and it's like, why would I do that when I can make an original game and not have to worry about already being down that much money, you know? Well, for the marketing, yeah. I mean, people are posting screenshots from that um, Star Lord game. That what is it? Guardians, Guardians of the, of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Sorry. It looks so shit. None of the characters look like they're mm-hmm. on screen well, counterparts. That, that, yeah. It's awful. None of the none of the current abysmal. Marvel games do. And I, I, that that seems like such a missed opportunity. Why wouldn't you tie it in with the Marvel franchise like that? They're their own thing. It's like the, it's weird. these god awful licensing issues, man. It's just like region locking on streaming platforms, right? Like, why would you not want your movie to be shown in another country? It's because. Due to some fucking agreement or another, they make slightly more money if they don't. And the same is true, I guess, with uh, actors using their likenesses in video games. Speaking of, I love Keanu Reeves, but I also feel like he's getting a l- really lazy because I, I was <laughs> watching this trailer <laughs> and I couldn't help but to think of uh, somebody like Christian Bale, for example, right? For, who for every role he modifies his body, like he either loses a lot of weight or he gains a lot of muscle and such, right? And then you have Keanu Reeves, who doesn't even bother to shave anymore. He looks <laughs> just like himself in every fucking movie. It's just that's like you took John Wick and put him in the Matrix. <laughs> well, that's not a bad strategy, though. I mean, John Wick is hugely popular right now. So kind of going, ah, look, he's like John Wick in this movie is not a bad <laughs> marketing tie at all. Well, just having I Keanu guess. is not a bad marketing call at all, mm-hmm. no matter what you do yeah. with him. Yeah, like we Cyberpunk. All love Keanu and I'm still going to watch this movie, but like, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't even change his hairstyle. He won't even tie it back for a different role. He just looks like the same in every movie. And that's how I, I like it. <laughs> he, I don't know. Yeah, he's fair enough. Been. He's never been a great actor or anything, but he's always fun to watch. Yeah, I don't he think is. anyone he's would so argue enjoyable. that he's like a super deep actor or anything, but I mean, he does well. Like he's yeah. he's an enjoyable character. He's just likable. Yeah. He's fun to watch. He's like he's like Nicolas Cage, except far better. Did any of you guys see that movie he was in where like the two girls go over to his house and he fucks them and then they like I I wanted to. Him. Is it good? No, I've only seen a little bit of it, yeah. and I watched clips. It looks so goofy. Keanu's like, you came into my house, and you fucked me! What yeah. am I supposed to do? It's, you that's where they, me! That's where they bury him up to his neck in the sand, yeah. right? Yeah. And then post the, the sex tape Why? on Facebook or whatever. <laughs> Wait, is uh? he playing himself? Is he playing Keanu Reeves? <laughs> like, <laughs> this, was, this is a very non-Keanu <laughs> role. So he's like a, a, he's a father... His wife and daughter or something are out of town and these two girls in the like in the rain say their car broke down. They need a place to stay. And he's like, "Okay, yeah, you can stay here. And then they ended up like having a threesome uh, and then they stay there for a while just having threesomes. And then eventually it turns out that they just like torture men like this. So they'd like tie him to a chair and they're, they're talking about it and filming him. And he's like, what the fuck was I supposed to do? You fucked me. It's two hot girls and you fucked me. You fucked me! Yeah, it's called Fucking Knock it's Knock your fault. is the movie. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's man. called That's Being a Man. <laughs> my, my hands were tied. I mean, two chicks wanted to fuck me. Wait, too. yeah, wait. He gets raped, apparently. He's tied to his bed and, and no. this character rapes him. Uh, that, that's towards the end of the movie. They had, they had a consensual they had sex consensual sex that. first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then they start torturing him. Um... Yeah, I'm on Netflix right now, on German Netflix, so I'm not seeing it. I know what movie you're talking about, though. I have seen yeah, it before, I've not watched it. Man, yeah, he was in Constantine, I forgot about that oh, it's movie. A, it's that a fucking so Eli Roth movie. Yeah, his, uh, oh. his fucking wife is one of the girls that has sex with Keanu. Woohoo! Aw. Yeah. God, I love Keanu. He's so good. No, wait, she, she's not his wife anymore. They're divorced since Yeah, after that threesome, she couldn't take it. Yeah. yeah. She's been chasing Did Keanu she ever also since. die? Like everyone in his life. The poor yeah. man. Keanu is such a God, sad so not- story. 
I just want to hug him. Wait, and his, buy him a beer. his wife? What a nice guy. Oh, yeah, Eli Roth's yeah. wife. I thought you meant Keanu's wife was one of the girls. Oh. Yeah, I thought that too. Yeah. No, no, no. Eli Roth's wife was one of the girls in this movie. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant Keanu yeah. Reeves' wife was one of the girls. Oh, no. That's also what I thought. Wait, did Eli Roth just like write her into the role to watch her kiss Keanu? I wouldn't blame him <laughs> if he did. Very he's well a, possible. He's a cut for Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> now sit on his That's lap. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Keanu probably didn't even know this was a movie. That's why his reaction was like, what the fuck? What was I meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Eli. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you told me I could fuck her. I'm a method actor. Oh, yeah. That's funny because I, he's the furthest thing from a method actor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Keanu, can we do your up. makeup? Maybe cut your hair? No. <laughs> well, um... I'll bring up a topic. Uh, we mm -hmm. were talking earlier about cloning, and it's it's kind of a, everything being the same and generic. Have you boys noticed that architecture is dying? Uh, yeah. Yes. So I'll bring up the specific example I'm thinking of. Every fast food restaurant is now a big gray box oh, yeah. with the logo at the top. If you mm -hmm. don't see the logo yeah. for restaurants, you will have no idea where you're going. Like, like they're they're all the same materials, all the same exact design. The inside too, it's all the same exact layout. And I've noticed it more and more. Just like new buildings that are built are just big square gray box with logo focused at the modernity. top. Modernity. I, I hate this modern everything art architecture. It's like did somebody disseminate a PDF file with new directions? Like everything has to be gray and ugly, sterile of soul. So hideous. Yeah, it's it's did you, just did, nuts. I uh, yeah, I saw I saw a design for like a new um, I can't remember what it was what it was. I think it was like Burger King, a new Burger King spot, and it's just like a gray box with a drive through like yeah. through the middle of it, and like the and like there's no way to get inside, so you can't go eat inside. They just like send your burgers down like a, a pneumatic shoot down to the <laughs> drive through. Everything's become so impersonal. Uh, well, I'm, I'm and, talking yeah, about standardized. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm talking about even like traditional ones where you can go inside. The whole point is that they want you to only be looking at the branding and the logo. So just the way they designed, it draws your eye to the sign at the top for like Wendy's or Taco Bell or whatever. But let's say you're driving, so you're not really looking around much. You're just glancing at things. It is impossible to tell what restaurant it is. I, I was stopped at a light once and there was like a tree in front of the sign for the restaurant and I was staring at it for 10 minutes and eventually pulled away and I was like, oh, it's fucking Pollo Tropical, where normally you would immediately know that restaurant because of its fucking tropical colors and its certain design. But I had no idea what I was yeah, looking like at. Mac McDonald's used to have that like cutesy corny red roof. Exactly. Right? Yeah. It looked yeah. like a fucking yeah. bounce castle. And then now people are posting photos of the new McDonald's restaurants. And it's this... Gross big brown, gray brux, gray, brux. yeah, big gray. Yeah, yeah what the it's fuck? it's not even gray. It's like brownish greenish. It looks like baby shit. Yeah. Like just turd. The it's, only thing that's that screams McDonald's about that photo that people are posting is obviously the golden arches still. But yeah. even in even yeah, there, the they're logo. so small and like hidden almost. It's impossible to tell yeah. at a glance what these restaurants are. It used to be obvious they would have their colors plastered on the outside or a certain like look to the actual building oh but now if you're driving and you just look at it which i mean for fast food it's primarily going to be if you're driving by or just see it you're gonna have no fucking idea what that is what is that a, a kfc oh i had no fucking idea oh well yeah, so, someone just posted a, a kfc photo it is literally just a giant yeah. like gray square it's sad is I that a meme this. is that real that looks like a joke i'm, I'm pretty sure that's a meme that looks I, too I much like know. a factory yeah. So I, I is it for, it's so, is so this for shit. aesthetic? Is this for aesthetic purposes? Do they I, think I that people no like idea. this look? I don't know. My, yeah, my leading modern. theory, my leading theory, besides it just being like, oh, it's modern, so it looks trendy, is the fact that people shop online means they don't have to try with architecture. Because like people don't really go to KFC yeah, for like, oh, look at the atmosphere. They go because it's quick, cheap fried chicken. 
So since everyone's doing all of their shopping online and staying indoors more and more, they don't have to give a shit what they look like. People know if they want KFC, you know. You, you you say that My, they don't have to try or anything, but I can I, I still think that these these uh, buildings were designed by like top tier you know architectural groups or whatever. Oh, the, mm-hmm. the contracts oh, you were just in the, know in the some, millions. Yeah, somebody got paid a buttload of money to come up with a great box. You know it. <laughs> yeah. My the greatest get- theory yes, is that's, that's the picture. Wait, that's the picture that I was talking about before. Someone posted a picture of the Taco Bell. Look at it. Like the restaurants above, if you could even call it a restaurant, it's just a, a white square. And then see those pillars there. That, that's where they it's send so the food fr- down to the drive-through. Oh, so that's it's cool. all just drive-through. I that's think super cool. That, that, that is cool. I think it's like a, it's so impersonal. Yeah, that's what no, I want to do. I want to okay, go to fast like, food and have a gross. fucking personal connection. Like, like no, Jackson, I mean, I I gonna, Jackson, I think that's cool if it's all automated and you just drive in and get your food. But what I'm talking about, if you scroll up a bit, is compare those McDonald's. Like, one of them has a bright red hatch fucking barn-style roof and the name fully on there and all these, like, signs for, oh, here's what we got in these bright fucking colors. And then compared to the modern one, it's a big gray box that just has the McDonald's logo on it and nothing else. I So my leading theory, and ironically, is that the lizard people are trying to break our spirits <laughs> by destroying everything that's beautiful. Let's make everything gray and uniform. It's they call it some college graduates. So They're just <laughs> entering the workforce. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like this, uh, the photo that Jackson was talking about with the talk about. It looks like a Saints Row screenshot. I don't know if it's that supposed does, to be a Google yeah. screen. Well, isn't that a render? It's That's not a real yeah, photo. Yeah, it's that's a, yeah. a 3D yeah, render. render. Yeah, yeah. It looks awful. It looks like Saints Row. So you think it looks awful too? What the fuck are you and Charlie talking about then, Andrew? What, what, I think it looks no, cool. No, I like this. it. I think it's neat. Yeah, but it's, it's just a white not, square you're still. Part of the it's got problem. like no personality. I think it's different if it's fully automated. If it's a restaurant where you're going to be like spending your time or one that you want to be enticed by, then it should look interesting. But if it's just, oh, I'm going through this automated machine to get Taco Bell, you already know you want Taco Bell. You're already there for just to get it and leave, you know? But this just... It's, yeah, uh, but it's why so does it have to be ugly? Yeah. Why, why does the automated... A restaurant have to look like uh, just a gray box with led gamer lights <laughs> it, 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 seriously it looks like a shipping container with legs yeah it does. by the way that sounds way cooler <laughs> than what it does look like but <laughs> it doesn't look as cool as that yeah. it, it looks it like a cool. gas station it just it's ass i don't know this is fucking hideous Maybe, and i feel like so the cia is behind this just like they were behind modern art is it is it like maybe they're sustainable somehow? Like people are trying to get more sustainable or whatever, like environmentalists and stuff. Maybe I think it's just reason. easy when when you don't have to try because people don't care. Because that, that's the other thing. It's only really big franchises that are doing this that already have millions and millions of customers. They don't have to give a shit. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's probably it's also probably just easy to build. Like yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe it's just so that they can put these up as quickly as possible across the country. Across the world. Oh, somebody in our chat is saying it's for leasing. A leasing company usually owns these buildings, and this way they can rent it to other businesses. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Um, but wouldn't maybe you so have the to building doesn't have any. Yeah, maybe sense. the building doesn't have like an identity of its own, so that it can then swap to other. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that you seems strange though. McDonald's logo. Yeah, that seems strange yeah. though, because if it's a McDonald's or a really large fast food chain, usually those buildings stay around pretty much forever. Yeah, but I mean, in these days, do they? Like, if you build a McDonald's building with the old corny red roof and everything, like mm-hmm. you can't rent that to Nike or, you know, Microsoft the next day, right? True. So I guess kind of it makes sense for all buildings to be uniform yeah. gray blobs, indistinguishable. Yeah, I can see how that would make sense. It still doesn't make it enjoyable for me, though. I want to look at cool buildings. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. They're ugly. It's fucking all boring, boring and stupid. If anybody has insider info, any architects out there listening, let, let us know. Um, you can reach us. <laughs> Your information will stay confident. <laughs> if I you want to blow the whistle. <laughs> I wonder if the architects uh, designing this, like, uh, you know, appreciate their work or if they're just as miserable, miserable building giant gray squares. Or designing giant. Well, whoever designed squares. the appropriate gray oh, fuck, square fucking know. nailed it because they probably copy and paste the design all around the country. Yeah. 
That was another thing that you never see. Back in like the fucking 90s and 2000s, you'd occasionally have that outlier. It'd be like, oh, this McDonald's has an entirely glass wall. Or, oh, this one's a two-story McDonald's with this and that. It, it was rare, but you'd get it. But now, gray blob, gray blob, gray blob. Yeah. Do they still even have kid zones? That's, or, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Do they? They do. They do. Are they gray they blobs? Do. do they go down a square know. slide? I bet they're full of like bubble wraps and shit so that kids don't no. injure themselves. <laughs> Is it a virtual <laughs> place? Every time I went to McDonald's, no I got injured. Oh man, one one of my least favorite memories of my childhood was going to a McDonald's and um like I was so excited to go to the kids like playroom or whatever, the kids like zone Aww. and it ruined my day because someone had shit all down the slide so it was just <laughs> full of shit and no one what seemed to care. Fuck? And no. then you went down so it because you were like, "Well, I'm at McDonald's." Yeah, I may as well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there used to be, did you immunity. guys also have these urban myths about your local, like, McDonald's places and such? Like, uh, we had one where I grew up where the rumor was one of the kids got stuck in the slide and died in it. But because nobody, I guess, wanted to retrieve the kid. <laughs> no, I can't say I've ever heard that. <laughs> His ghost still haunts that McDonald's to this day. <laughs> Just a slide, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like they don't even have slides these days because of liability stuff. Yeah, nah. too dangerous. Something I know too that they've uh, taken out in recent years is I know they really don't have Ronald McDonald anymore. You know why? Yeah, because yeah, no people so. don't like clowns anymore. Yeah. Um, the, is it because the, he apparently, looks creepier than it? Well, no, no, no. Um, apparently, it's not fully confirmed, but the kicker that did it is, you remember like three years ago when there were the killer clown yeah. gangs roaming the streets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah apparently yeah. McDonald's didn't want to be associated with that, so that's when they like fully pulled the plug on having Ronald as the mascot. It <laughs> took him off life that's support. That's all it took. Yeah, that's what it took. <laughs> he was in the hospital. <laughs> they just removed life support from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronald. Your time's over. <laughs> no more Happy Meals for you. Oh, man, that's got to suck for whoever like came up with Ronald McDonald as a mascot. Like, sorry, uh, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> There's roaming gangs of clowns in the woods. Oh, he got fucked. <laughs> uh, that guy. He got fucked over long before that. He was a franchisee owner, and he wanted to advertise his restaurant, so he had them Ronald McDonald be like, "Come to my McDonald's, it's fucking great." And after he made like five commercials, the McDonald's company stepped in and said, "We're replacing you with an actor." Bye. <laughs> they literally took his character That's like and appropriated Jake from State it. Farm. Yeah, That's yeah so it's fun. the State Farm oh, yeah. guys thing. Yeah, the history of McDonald's is super interesting. I think it, if I remember correctly, it started by some guy stealing an idea from two brothers, right? Yeah. yeah. Like a Yeah, it was a guy what named you, Ray Crook, I think. It was Ray Crook, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was something like that. He went to like some local restaurant where they were pumping out burgers. And he was like, "Wow, that's pretty fast." And then like teamed up with him for a little while and then eventually <laughs> just took it from them. Yeah, yeah, they were they, the. They, they tried to like sue him back or whatever for rights and stuff, but he he was pretty vicious. They were the and, first and well um, first assembly line style restaurant. Yeah, it was the first one that went okay. You do toppings, you do fries, you do this instead of everyone helping out and cooking. Yeah, so ba basically, like the McDonald's we know today. Yeah, I watched the founder with Michael Keaton. That's where I know this from. Basically, he um he he found them while touring America or whatever, and stole their idea. Well, not stole. He entered a partnership with them, but eventually betrayed them. So the the McDonald's that we know today isn't actually the McDonald's that was uh, by the well, founders. Well, it, it obviously like paid off because Michael Keaton's a really famous guy today. For stealing McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, how it do you know she's acting them? Uh, it, is that a confirmed thing? Or maybe he just improved on their idea and they went their own ways. Is it like the social network about Mark Zuckerberg where they implicate that he stole everything? Is, yeah. I mean, it is basically like huh. that. I bet that happens a lot in America. I am sure it happens all oh, yeah. the time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Everywhere about everything. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this week's episode. Um, we'll see you next week. Thank mm -hmm. you. Goodbye. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.